when you've got a drawing like we have here, it probably looks quite complete, okay, it's not the most complicated of drawings, but it gives you an idea of the, the situation. Now, I'm just scanning around here briefly, and I'll see there's actually a planting area there, it's a leader. There's a planting area that hasn't been specified. Now, on a complicated drawing where you're working on lots and lots of plants, it can be quite difficult to find those and even identify them. And sometimes you might go into a drawing here and find a plant appear, think, well, where the heck's that plant come from? And you want to sort of find that plant in the schedule. The new feature within Softworks is to find objects. What this allows you to do, go to find objects, says what do you want to select? I want to find all the trees, so just press, or all the plants rather, press return, and that shows a dialog box with all the information in the drawing. Firstly, let's say oh, at the top here you've got some information. So the first thing is items without specification. If I double click on that, it will go to the first object in the drawing that's been specified but without a, a specification. If I go to modify object here, I can modify that object give it a specification from a plant list or whatever, so go to plant list here. I'll just go and pick on what we got, shrubs. That'll do for the purpose of this, at three per meter squared. Okay, that, and one thing you will notice now is when you're positioning text in the drawing, previously you used to have this rectangular extents box, so you couldn't actually see the text. The reason that's appearing gray behind there is because I've got a background mask on the text. So when I position that now, I can see exactly where the text is going to go. I can then draw a leader from the bed back to the object, and that's added that into the drawing. Also, I can find objects in the drawing where I've actually put them in, but forgot to put the leader. So if I double click on this one here, it will automatically jump to this object here, modify the object. I see it's got a specification, OK that, and again, I can position and do that one. So return. And I can say I've, I've got one here which has got a label but no leader. Double click on that one. So this is the one down here. It's got the specification but I forgot to put the leader in. So I can go modify object. OK that and draw in the leader for that single object there. If I want to delete that object, I've got the option to delete that object. I've got the option here to zoom out as well. So I want to see that planted area in context or zoom back in again, which is quite relevant. You start getting onto other plants. So if I want to now find a plant in the drawing, so I want to find this Cotoneaster. There's six references to that Cotoneaster in the drawing because it tells me here the number of references. It's not saying the quantity. It's the number of times that plant appears in the drawing. So if I double click on the Cotoneaster here, it takes me to the first instance. If I zoom out slightly, that shows me that the first Cotoneaster. I've got an option to modify it here, delete the object, or go to next. I've got to zoom out again, so again, it's showing me the object I'm working with. I've got the option to delete it, modify it, or remove the spec, in which case it just leaves the planting bed there, but no spec. So we can very quickly now find plants in the drawing, and whilst you're there, modify them. So if you've got a a rogue plant appearing in the drawing, it will show you. And if there's a plant in a mix, again, it will show you the option for a mix. I don't think I've got any plant mixes in this drawing. I might have. Let's try the previous area. Zoom out slightly. Oh, I've got, a, I've got some as part of here. So the Crotagus there, so if I return, and I'm looking for the Crotagus there, double click on it. It's part of a mix now, so it recognizes that Crotagus is part of that mix. I can now modify that object, and I can modify the information here. So very quickly, you can find plants in the drawing, and you can correct the drawing before it's issued to the client.